Exporting data from MS Project is really simple, but it is also really, really useful. I export them to Excel and then I can analyze the data, prepare graphs. When I have a more complex data, I can also use Power Query. For some of my projects from Excel, I move then on to Power BI to do further analysis or analysis on a bigger set of data. Now, one of the usage that I see more and more for me, it's from Excel to also export the data into ChatGPT. And there, the artificial intelligence really helps me in analyzing the data and automating some of the processes. So what we are going to look together it's how to export the data to Excel. It's Kristen from Vision 6D and for me it's always a pleasure to share some of my knowledge with you. Like that you can level up your skills and I train and I consult for companies. The project that is behind me is relatively complex and contains quite a lot of tasks. It contains about 50 resources. In this project I want to export resources to Excel. For that I'm going into export, save project as a file, I will choose Excel and here save us. I can define the name and the location of that file. I had it already done previously, so I'm choosing here to export resources. Yes, I want to replace it. Why not? Why not? And I have here the wizard that opened. It's the same wizard that we find for the tasks. And here I'm going to work on my data. I can choose to create a new map this is what I'm going to do but if I have an existing map I can avoid all the work of creating a map by reusing an existing one. In our case we take a new map and here I'm going to choose to work on resources. Now that I have the resources defined I will also export the headers of the different columns. Now you see that MS Project is proposing me to create an Excel file with an Excel sheet which is called resource underscore table one. This is just fine for me. Here I have a filter where I could decide to export resources based on certain criteria. For example, over allocated resources or I could also export based on groups for example in my case groups they will be department so I could for example decide to export just the resources of the IT department in our case I'm going to work with all resources and here comes the first field on which I'm going to work the field I'm going to use is first the name of the resources. I want to, to have this and you see that MS Project proposes me to name that field name. The second field that I want to add here is the group to which belongs the resource. This in my case corresponds to the department. After that I want to insert the work complete. After that, the total work hours here down and also the work variance. We see that we have a mapping between what MS Project is proposing and what will be the column names into Excel. Here, if we want to change those names, it's where we can do it. The data type in each of our case is of type text. Here below we have an example 
showing us what is the mapping of a project with the name, the group, percent work complete, work and work variants. And we have below the names of the columns in Excel. Then we have below two examples that we can see, developer 1 and PM, and we see that we have values for the work variants. So once we have set this, there is also here the possibility to filter those resources. For example, based on group, we could say, for example, we want for this project just to extract the resources for the department IT. So we would choose the group IT. So I let you look at all the other possibilities that we have here. We won't make any filtering here. So once I've done that, I could say finish and the export would happen. I'm going through the intermediary step, which is here, to save that map. So I had already here a map which is called V6 dash resources. The interests of doing this it's that you are going to be able to reuse that map in your project so you don't need to recreate it another point that is also interesting here it's to know that those maps they are going to be stored in what we call global.mpt and it means that your uh, map can also be used by other projects so we are not going to change here anything into this. We saved the, the map. Since it exists, it says that do I want to uh, rewrite it, which I said yes. And now let's finish. And now the file has already been exported and we need to go and look at the result. I have now my file that I can open here. And we find our different columns, the name, the group, the person complete, scheduled work hours and work variant. You've seen now how we export data. We've seen it with Excel. From then on, you can analyze the data in Excel. You can use Power Query, which is really an interesting tool to do transformation of data and help you for analyzing. You can, from Excel, export the data further for use in Power BI. And what I'm using more and more, it's to integrate them directly into ChatGPT with the AI helping me in analyzing and automating a number of tasks. For me, it's always a pleasure to share some of my knowledge in project management and see you soon for another module. Bye-bye.